The first most important thing that you need to do when you're reading nutrition labels for achieving a weight loss goal is to not actually read this part, but to go straight down and look at the ingredients. Now, the things that you need to look for when you're looking at the ingredients, first things first is going to be any amount of sugar. And sugar can be quite sneaky. It goes by a lot of different names. Obviously, there's regular cane sugar, high fructose corn syrup, agave, honey, coconut sugar, coconut nectar, agave nectar. And generally, anything that's going to end in O-S, O-S-E, is going to be some type of sugar. Now, especially if you're looking to achieve a weight loss goal, sugars are going to be the biggest barrier to achieving that goal. Because sugar causes one of the biggest spikes in our storm hormone insulin and when insulin is high our fat burning process called lipolysis is completely turned off so in order to achieve that weight loss goal you want to look out to first thing make sure that there's no sugar or very very minimal amounts of sugar within whatever food you're consuming and the best place to look for that first is going to be in the ingredients also a sneaky form of sugar is going to be fruit juices or dried fruits so also make sure you look out for that the next thing you'll want to look out for are flowers of any type in the ingredients and this is because other than sugar the next big biggest spiker of our strong hormone insulin are going to be refined starches. And you'll most commonly find this in a refined flour. And this doesn't just have to be wheat flour. In fact, there's a lot of people thinking that they're doing something healthy by choosing a cauliflower tortilla or almond flour tortilla without realizing that one of the main ingredients is going to be cassava flour or oat flour. And the more that we process and break these starches down from its original source into this flour, it minimizes how much digestion our body has to do in order to absorb those starches starches, which breaks down into sugar. So this means if a product contains some type of starchy flour, like cassava flour, tapioca flour, oat flour, or obviously wheat, then this, just like the sugar, will greatly work against your weight loss goals. So if you're using a lot of those like cauliflower or coconut or almond flour tortillas or pizzas, make sure that you look at the ingredients and see if it has any of those other flour, very starchy flour alternatives. Which my name's Autumn and I'm a certified clinical nutritionist with my master's in nutrition human performance. And now that we've gone through the ingredients, the next most important factors, of course, to actually look at the nutrition facts, because obviously higher amounts of those sugars and starches are going to cause the biggest spike in that storing hormone insulin and work against your goals. But also the speed at which those starches and sugars are absorbed can also have a great impact. So ideally we want something that's going to have a slow absorption into the blood supply. And typically the main thing that's going to slow that absorption down is going to be fiber. And then from there, protein and fat are the next most important for slowing down that absorption. So in order to find fiber, you look at the total carbohydrates and you look straight down into the dietary fiber. So let's say the carbohydrates said about 20 grams of carbohydrates, but it has 15 grams of fiber. This means that there's only about five grams of those digestible and absorbable carbohydrates that can spike insulin. Plus there's a ton of fiber slowing it down. A great example of this is raspberries. Raspberries has almost a roughly one-to-one -one ratio of carbohydrates to fiber, making it a really great fruit option if you're looking to achieve a weight loss goal. Now, one thing to note, you'll probably see for a lot of ingredients, it has sugars versus added sugars. Now, adding refined sugars, which will be in that added sugar category, is obviously going to have the biggest impact on the storing hormone insulin. But this also doesn't mean that loading up on whole food sources of sugars that will be in the just sugars category of the nutrition facts will work towards your weight loss goals either. It might be slowed down a little bit due to the fiber, but it still is going to be a higher amount of sugar that will cause insulin to spike. Ideally, just a good rule of thumb is to keep added sugars to zero and having all the sugars category come from a purely whole food source, excluding fruit juices and dried fruit, which really should just be considered an added sugar. Now, how much you address your sugar and your carbohydrate intake will really depend on your carbohydrate tolerance, which I've discussed this concept in a few videos, but you can check out this one right here for additional details. Now, next you need to be checking your protein and you can find this near the bottom of the nutrition facts underneath the carbohydrates. Getting enough protein for your needs is crucial for achieving body recomposition goals, which is where you're losing fat, but not losing muscle, which really is what you want anyway, when you're looking to achieve a weight loss goal. Protein also helps you feel full and satisfied and then therefore helps prevent snacking. And you can also calculate your protein needs with this video right here. But make sure when looking at the nutrition facts, if it's a full meal, that it contains enough protein for your body's needs. If you're looking at the nutrition facts for one meal, then that should contain roughly one third of your protein needs, assuming you're having a three meal structure. For example, if you need 90 grams of protein per day, that one meal should have 30 grams of protein. Now, the last component to look out for is the fat content, which fat is going to be right at the top, but you don't necessarily need to be looking at the fat grams. The biggest thing that we wanna look out for is that any of the food you're eating contains the original fat source it is usually packaged along with. For example, instead of using low fat or zero fat Greek yogurt, opt for the full fat whole milk Greek yogurt. This is because fat plays a really important role for achieving a weight loss goal because it does not greatly spike the store 
storing hormone insulin, but it also helps you to feel really full and satisfied and help prevent cravings or snacking that will work against your goals. Now, the problem with fat comes in when you combine fat with sugar, and that's because sugar really spikes that storing hormone insulin and will immediately store whatever's there, including the fats. So it's not necessarily that fat is the problem. In fact, it's really helpful for achieving a weight loss goal. It's just sugar can make it immediately stored. This is why we so strongly focus with those first couple of tips on the amounts of sugar that's going to be in whatever food you're consuming. Now, if you're wondering how to lose 20 pounds, you can check out my super easy tips with this video next. Also, if you're new to my channel and you love this science-backed information, make sure you subscribe right here. Come out with new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you in my next video.